This is the Music History Today podcast for July 8th. On today's show, R.E.M. and the Go-Go's debut. First up, though, on this date in 1946, actress Ava Gardner divorced band leader Artie Shaw. In 1947, people started seeing a UFO in Roswell, New Mexico, near the Area 51 military base. The event has since spawned many conspiracy theories, along with many songs about aliens, including David Bowie's Starman, Megadeth's Hangar 18, and of course, Debbie Harry's rap in Blondie's song Rapture about the man from Mars eating cars. In 1954, DJ Dewey Phillips of WHBQ Radio in Memphis, Tennessee, started playing Elvis Presley's cover version of Big Boy Crudup's song That's All Right Mama which got Elvis noticed and started him off on the road to superstardom. In 1958, the soundtrack to the film version of the Broadway musical Oklahoma became the first album to receive a gold record from the Recording Institute Association of America for sales of $1 million. In 1975, the dollar amount required was changed to just the number of units sold. Gold records were awarded for 500,000 copies sold, and platinum records were awarded for 1 million copies sold. In 1963, Little Stevie Wonder performed his song Fingertips Part 2 on American Bandstand. In 1967, Jimi Hendrix started his tour as the opening act for, of all groups, The Monkees. It only lasted about eight concerts before Hendrix finally just left the tour. In 1969, while on set of the movie Ned Kelly, which she was filming with Mick Jagger, Marion Faithful attempted suicide by swallowing pills. When she recovered and woke up from her coma, she said that wild horses couldn't drag me away, which became a line in the Rolling Stone song Wild Horses. In 1971, a small commotion during Mott the Hoople's performance at Royal Albert Hall in London prompted the venue to ban rock groups from performing there. Seemed to be a thing at the hall, which also banned Pink Floyd and rock music in general a couple of times. In 1978, Joe Strummer and Paul Simonon of The Clash were arrested in Scotland for being drunk and disorderly. In 1979, singer Marion Faithful, speaking of her again, married singer Ben Briefly. In 1988, Stevie Wonder, speaking of him again, announced his intention to run for mayor of Detroit, Michigan, which he, like a lot of other musicians, did not actually follow through on. Also in 1988, Bobby and Chico DeBarge of the singing group DeBarge were indicted on drug trafficking charges. Bobby ended up spending five years in prison. In 1998, Frank Sinatra's music and film archives both went to the Smithsonian and also the Library of Congress. In 2002, Michael Jackson went on a rant against Sony Music and other record labels accusing them of racism. He was referring to a battle concerning promotion of Michael's album Invincible and also Sony trying to get his music right, which they eventually got. In 2003, Elvis Presley's ex-girlfriend sold one of his teeth, a lock of his hair, and one of his gold records on eBay of all places, and she got $100,000 for it. In 2011, the BBC premiered the documentary Troubadours, The Rise of the Singer-Songwriter. In 2013, rapper Wiz Khalifa married model Amber Rose. In 2016, three members of the Spice Girls announced that they were forming a new group together called Gem. And in 2023, Elton John finished his farewell tour with a show in Stockholm. Albums that were released on July 8th include in 1968 when Duster Bennett released Smiling Like I'm Happy. In 1969, Canned Heat released Hallelujah. In 1981, the Go-Go's released their debut album Beauty and the Beat. In 1986, Ministry released Twitch. In 1987, Pete Townsend released Another Scoop. In 1996, Zard released Today is Another Day. In 1997, Emperor released anthems to the Welkin at Dusk and The Call released The Best of the Call. 
In 2000, Midnight Oil released The Real Thing. In 2003, David Lee Roth released Diamond Dave. In 2008, Heart released Playlist, The Very Best of Heart. In 2013, Jane's Addiction released Jane's Addiction Live in New York City, and Warren Zevon released Headless in Boston. In 2014, Jerry Garcia Band released Garcia Live Volume 4, and John Mellencamp released John Mellencamp Performs Trouble No More Live at Town Hall. And in 2016, Hart released Beautiful Broken. Singles that were released on July 8th in the UK include in 1996 when the Cocktoo Twins released Violaine and the Spice Girls released Wannabe. Meanwhile in America, in 1965, Junior Walker and the All-Stars released Shake and Finger Pop. Meanwhile, in 1966, Junior Walker and the All-Stars went at it again. This time, they released How Sweet It Is to Be Loved by You. Also on that same day, Gary Lewis and the Playboys released My Heart Symphony. In 1968, the Beach Boys released Do It Again. In 1972, The Who released Join Together. In 1975, the Doobie Brothers released Sweet Maxine. In 1980, Pat Benatar released You Better Run, which was the second music video that was ever played on MTV right after the Buggles video killed the radio star. In 1981, REM debuted. They released Radio Free Europe and they did a twofer. Also on that same day, they did Sitting Still, which didn't become as big a hit as Radio Free Europe. Meanwhile, on that exact same day, 1981, Stevie Nicks with Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Stop Dragging My Heart Around. And in 1993, the 10,000 Maniacs released Few and Far Between. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on July 8th include singer-songwriter Beck, singer Joan Osborne, country music singer Toby Keith, Andy Fletcher of Depeche Mode, J. Johanny Johansson of the Allman Brothers Band, singer Steve Lawrence, singer Jerry Vale, band leader Billy Eckstein, the father of rhythm and blues band leader Louis Jordan, blues artist Johnny Johnson, Chuck Negron of Three Dog Night, Greg T. Walker of Blackfoot, Graham Jones of Haircut 100, children's music singer Rafi, composer George Antheil, singer and actor Jaden Smith, singer Ariel Camacho, rapper Trey Carter, singer Sky Ferreira, singer Michaela Phillips, Jamie Cook of Arctic Monkeys, and rapper T. Steezy. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 8th include composer George Newmark, who passed away in 1681 at the age of 60. Cellist Antonio Bonacini passed away in 1726 at the age of 49. Composer Joseph de Sauer passed away in 1876 at the age of 78. Composer Henri Valput passed away in 1885 at the age of 39. Composer Vladimir Kasparov passed away in 1894 at the age of 67. Musician Walter Kittredge passed away in 1905 at the age of 70. Flute player and also the conductor of the Paris Opera from 1919 to 1941, Philippe Gaubert passed away from a stroke in 1941 at the age of 62. Organist Cartheranus Elling passed away in 1942 at the age of 83. Composer Alexander Alexandrov passed away in 1946 at the age of 63. Composer Ricardo Pick Mangiagalli passed away in 1949 at the age of 66. Composer Henri Ferrier passed away in 1957 at the age of 81. Film score composer Julian Bautista passed away in 1961 at the age of 60. 
Jazz trumpet player Charlie Shavers passed away in 1971 at the age of 50. Jazz pianist and band leader Lovey Austin passed away in 1972 at the age of 84. Broadway composer Moose Charlap passed away in 1974 at the age of 45. Jazz and funk Hammond organ player Charles Kinnard passed away in 1979 at the age of 46. Singer and actress Christine McIntyre passed away from cancer in 1984 at the age of 73. Singer and dancer Dominique Lucera passed away from cancer in 1994 at the age of 26. Composer Gunter Bielas passed away in 1995 at the age of 87. Gospel singer-songwriter J.W. Alexander passed away in 1996 at the age of 80. Composer Nicola Herciogonia passed away in 2000 at the age of 89. Composer Kunio Toda passed away in 2003 at the age of 87. Composer Jindrich Feld passed away in 2007 at the age of 82. Singer-songwriter Ernie Maraska passed away in 2015 at the age of 76. Composer Oliver Newson passed away in 2018 at the age of 66. Singer and actor Tab Hunter passed away in 2018 at the age of 86. Singer and actress Naya Rivera from the TV show Glee passed away when she drowned in 2020 at the age of 33. And jazz saxophonist Sam Reed passed away in 2021 at the age of 85. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 9th when in 1975, Jack White of the White Stripes was born. <laughs> ¶¶ 